Hi, my name is Lauren with How Stuff in MyCarWorks.com. In today's video, I will explain how the clutch slave cylinder works. The clutch slave cylinder is a device used in the hydraulic clutch system. This is mounted either on the outside of the transmission body or inside the bell housing over the transmission input shaft. This style has the clutch release bearing attached to it as one unit. The slave cylinder that is mounted to the outside of the transmission housing is usually held by two bolts. This type of slave cylinder has a rod that extends out every time you press the clutch pedal. The clutch pedal is attached to the clutch master cylinder. The master cylinder converts the mechanical movement to hydraulic pressure which is then transferred to the clutch slave cylinder. The rod that extends out makes contact with the clutch fork. The clutch fork applies pressure to the pressure plate through the clutch release bearing which disengages the clutch. As I mentioned earlier, in an internal clutch slave cylinder design, the clutch slave cylinder and the clutch release bearing are one unit. This unit slides over the input shaft. It is held by two or three bolts that attach it to the front of the transmission housing. This design operates the clutch without using a clutch fork. What are the symptoms of a bad clutch slave cylinder? Usually when you have a bad clutch slave cylinder, you know it right away. Since this is a hydraulic part, once the seal inside the slave cylinder goes bad, it will start leaking. At the same time, because the seal is not sealing properly, it allows air into the system, which causes your clutch pedal to feel soft and spongy. When a clutch pedal feels that way, it is an indication of air in the system. When this happens, it makes it hard to operate your clutch properly because it disengages when your foot is almost all the way down to the floor. At times, you may not even be able to place your car or truck in gear when experiencing these problems. A bad clutch master cylinder will have similar symptoms. Make sure that you look closely at each one of these two clutch components to see which one is bad prior to replacing any. Look for signs of fluid leaks to see which one is having a problem. For more tutorials regarding the clutch system components, their operation, and replacement guides, visit our website, HowStuffInMyCarWorks.com.